one man, two shopping bags, and a line of tanks. It was June 5, 1989 in Beijing, a day after Chinese troops began violently cracking down on student protesters who'd occupied Tiananmen Square for over a month. Tanks and troops opened fire or crushed those who tried to block their way. The official Chinese government death toll is 300, but eyewitnesses and foreign journalists put the figure in the thousands. Many wounded was rushed into the hospital, but when they um, reached the ER, the people were not, uh, the nurses, uh, uh, doctors was basically, they were shouting like, okay, this one is still alive, this one is fatal. Um, dozens of corpses that I personally witnessed in Beijing hospital. Charlie Cole was one of several photographers taking photos from the balcony of a Beijing hotel. During this time, I'm thinking, this guy is going to be killed any moment now. And if he is, I just can't miss this. This is something that he's giving his life for. It's my responsibility to record it as accurately as possible. Cole went to great lengths to ensure his photos would see the light of day. I realized that the, the Public Security Bureau had been watching us from the other rooftop by binoculars. So I went in and took the film out of the camera and reloaded it into the plastic film can and uh, went it to the toilet, took off the top of the toilet and put it in the holding tank, put the toilet top back on. And shortly after that, probably 10, 15 minutes afterwards, the Public Security Bureau broke through the door. They got one other roll of film from the, the shots that I'd taken from the night before. And they were pretty satisfied they'd, they'd cleaned up the situation. About a day and a half later, I worked my way back through the back streets to the Beijing Hotel, and luckily nobody had flushed the toilet. So one of the most famous photographs of the 20th century was floating in the top of a lavatory. Floating system. in the top of the toilet and possibly it could have been literally flushed, yeah. The American photojournalist's image of Tank Man won him the World Press Photo of the Year Award in 1989. Tank Man was eventually taken away by security officials. To this day, his identity and fate remain unknown. But the anonymous act of defiance has become a symbol of the student-led protest movement in China and Hong Kong against corruption and oppression that's grown into calls for accountability, democracy and freedom of speech. Natasha Hussein, TRT World.